There have been several Gintama arcs where characters actually seem in danger, where there's a lot of story, a lot of trouble, a lot of high-flying emotions, but with several ninjas quite in disarray. And of course, Takasugi, not exactly pleased about Gintoki. We should be expecting quite a good battle. Quite a good episode. Let's admit it. Quite a good arc. Now, having them create this, like, secret path out, only for that... Only for that very escape route to be blocked. I would definitely say Gintogi has has better footwear for a fight like this. <laughs> he might have a fair point there. <laughs> are there any other characters who are tenacious enough to actually go through with it? Whether that be... No matter what side you fit, you are on. Song? Not bad. The visuals of all the splatter and whatnot? I'm not sure about that. I think it's a bit... a bit much... But also not looking very good. But now does... Are we going to get a... Uh, an episode where it skips about... Across all the different... Kind of little parties that are out there. The Shinsengumi. Gintoki and uh, Takasugi. The Shogun. Also for another family reunion there. Has any other arc lasted five episodes? <laughs> well done, Shimpachi. Just attacking from the back lines. <laughs> if you're going to do it, do it right. Keeping promises made for when they were so young. And this is all they could muster. Well, for Gintoki just to be running his little kind of odd jobs business with those two, while also still being a powerhouse capable of protecting a nation from the likes of Takasugi, not too bad. And he doesn't see fit to uh, try and talk shit back.
He's he's still the uh, true. Takasuki just has pawns. Kintoki has characters. <laughs> Did he give up on any premise of protection when when they lost their teacher? Hmm. Interesting pose, fighting stance. Now, everything that they've been through, both together and since. I like how Shimpachi himself is, uh... <laughs> Facing off against Yato. And uh, I don't know if he should be keeping up with the same kind of training that he has. Well, he doesn't look further than, like, the upcoming fight. I'm glad I changed these headphones. That, that sounded quite nice. <laughs> The fact that uh, there's a little element of surprise. Ah, it hasn't healed just yet. <laughs> so despite putting on all of his airs, Okay, I think I was saying last time that the the fight scenes and what we saw, she's aiming for all the good areas, um, was pretty good. But now, just like the elements where they actually clash here. How much there is to uh, fight for. Even if they don't just have... Nice. Individual strength to match up to the Ato. <laughs> I kind of like... I kind of like her... Her story of like, being reborn for Earth. We'll put that fight on hold. While we flash back to the Great War. Something to do in it. <laughs> a 
Gintoki fights to fight and uh, protect his friends, really. If things get saved beyond that, all the better. How how time has affected them all. Oh, straight to the face. Did he get his uh didn't get his other eye? Okay, the really close calls, like stopping the sword with the pommel of his sword. Using the scabbard to attack as well. They're really putting out the stops with the kind of choreography of this fight. Also not uh, having a overdose on the excitement by cutting in segments like this. None of them are strong. It's not his fault if he's just better. For Katsura to try and impart that kind of... That was the word I was going to use. Perspective. <laughs> now it all stems from personal belief, doesn't it? Are they here for revenge? And with a stick I don't think they really care about personal honour. They speak down to him with such ire. And one turns up not throwing around little wooden sticks. Still just uh, showing such disrespect from such a young age. Ah. Ah. <laughs> giving away his <laughs> just... but that kind of strength we haven't really seen
so it's like low effort yet high results. They both took quite a blow. Luckily, it was in uh, Gintoki's like non-dominant arm. I really like the like battle drums going on during that fight. One of them looks a little worse for wear. You're uh, quite a way off challenging him himself. <laughs> and with every every loss is an opportunity to learn. I I do like that outlook and also I hope I can be so suave with words as that teacher. But doesn't uh, everyone deserve a chance? Sometimes there isn't a firm answer. Well, like a little certificate. <laughs> We've heard stories of Ronin, you know, wandering samurai. As long as they diligently work towards a better future for themselves, does it matter the background? But in an age where Family history and bloodlines and money is power. And getting to see this teacher giving such sagely advice, starting a, a school for the, I was going to say disheartened, but they really aren't, are they? And this is where it leads. Is it this time is not a challenger but a fellow student? Hmm. Oh, the different standards of teaching. Man, yeah. who likes a uh, tuna as a filling? 
Does that mean she can't make him food? And not only is there you know, strength in action, there's conviction, ideals, belief. He scored a point. But you've turned up for so many, so many days in a row. <laughs> Have... Councillor? What... Why in the middle of a fight if he's is he just making on a gilly? <laughs> such a such a happy atmosphere. Didn't think we'd ever see Shinsuke laughing so casually all oh, the drips of blood sound like a rainfall what is this the his second victory. It has actually been that long. I was really drawn in on this episode, wasn't... I wasn't expecting it to end just then. I thought there was going to be so much more left. And also, we have we actually been told what happens with the with the teacher? You know, I think it, you know multiple times. So Kentucky can't protect anything, etc. So we kind of know. But come if we've been shown it. And for the before and after photos, I like it. Putting Kamui and Kagura's fight on hold, Shinpachi's last stand against the Yato and the ninjas both arrival to help him out and the ones that are still barely standing. Leave that to the side to really focus on Gintoki, Takasugi, the history, the school, the teacher, what it really means to be a samurai. Is it social status? Power? What is it that you really fight for? But for a teacher to give a voice to everyone, giving power to the powerless, a future to the disenfranchised? For this arc just being, starting off, Shogun assassination. Oh shit. The twists and turns with... No, Zenzo swapping out with body doubles. Plans... Plans running in parallel in the background. Really getting to see... Quite a lot from different characters. Not only on the battlefield, but their... What they personally stand for. And then it's switching out into a history lesson of Gintoki Takasugi and 
basically what began the rebellion against the Amanto? Is that what the aliens were called? <laughs> I can see why this entire set of events is so he is held in such high regards. Not only for the storytelling, but as I've said several times, quite a lot else. Do when it really calls for it. Who can cast off the shackles of status, being given a scholarship to some sort of prestigious place where it's so stacked against you? What about the other students? Are we going to see those? You know, the group of... Was it four or five? Katsura, Gintoki, Takasugi, Sakamoto, and of course the unnamed one who were... Uh, lives from the shadows. But at the speed we're going, we're really going to find out what, why Shinsuke has this kind of hell-bent desire to topple everything. Hopefully you'll be there to see it. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like and a comment down below. Consider subscribing to carry on watching. It's free, and you get updated when new videos come out. And, uh, some of them might be more Gintama. Get some rest, though. See you in the next one. My patrons are the aloof voice in a tree that comes crashing down to my aid when I need them. And so I really need to thank Electric Ant, Noku, Raywind, Kite, Sal, Shiwan, Matt, Stinsfire, Gurley, Salty Tron, Cardboard, Croyville, Jennifer Rojas, Alvin Garcia, Santiago, D. Fiero, Dark Shadow 7899, Defender of Segs, and everyone else. And if you don't want to get caught playing hooky, Consider joining on to my Patreon as well.